Soma's ties to public security may lead to his undoing. By seizing the puppet himself, Yagami seeks to pull down the puppet master holding the strings. To do so, he forms a temporary alliance with the fugitive Kuana. But Soma arrives to carve a bloody path into a hideaway no one should know about. Reiko Kusumoto's betrayal has proven more volatile than anyone could have guessed. All right, final chapter, Darkest Before the Dawn. Hey guys, welcome to another recording. Let's get this last chapter going. Yenda sensei they're calling last night's bombing a terrorist attack. The body they recovered was burnt beyond recognition. That was a Kaikei-kun, right? The one Yagami mentioned? Yes, I believe so. Nothing about Soma or RK in the article either. Could public security be tampering with the press? I wouldn't give public security that much credit. Besides, if a bomb goes off in a deserted public place, it's only natural for the police to assume it's terrorism. Right, I guess when you put it that way. Unfortunately, even if they do identify a Kaikei-kun, the ones responsible are Kuana and Soma, two guys who are totally off the grid. Any investigation would grind to a halt, probably end up as another unsolved mystery. If the public learned the bombing was tied to Ihara's battery case, Jaws would hit the floor. Yeah. Anyway, where's Yagami? You heard from him since last night? No. We've been in touch via email, though. He's on his way to a hospital now. Great. What'd he get himself into now? If he's actually going to the hospital, does that mean it's serious? Don't worry, he's fine. He's just going to meet with someone about the case. Who'd want to meet up at a hospital? Reiko Kusumoto. Oh, so we're probably going to learn as to why she gave the info. Thirteen years. I still can't believe it. Waking up and finding out you're suddenly thirty. Take your time. You'll adjust eventually. Work again? I won't be long. I just need to take a quick meeting. Now put down that mirror already. So, you sold Kwan out to public security because Mitsurakun woke up. Does that about sum it up? <sighs> you waited 13 years for Mitsurakun to wake up. If you turn yourself in now, you'd lose him all over again. There's that. Yes. Going forward, he needs to stand on his own two feet and rebuild his life. It'll take time. And lots of it. There's no real end in sight. He's at a disadvantage as it is. And to brand him the child of a murderer on top of that. I couldn't. Mitsuru! 
It's incredible. Finally, he's woken up. Doesn't this change everything? I think you may want to reconsider what you told me, Kusumoro-san. Alone, I'm sure you could have lived with the weight of your choice. But... <laughs> now you have something you'd sacrifice everything to protect. He's so precious. But he's also so fragile he could come crashing down without even a warning. You're going to have to be his shield, Kusumoru-san. We'll do it together. With your cooperation. <laughs> scum to manipulate someone like that over their child. I have to do what I can to protect him. I suppose so, but you covered up your crimes and it was Sawasensei who got caught in the crossfire. On top of that, Akaike-kun's throat was slit last night. Now he's dead too. Kawano will be another body for the pile soon. Hell, maybe I'm in trouble myself. How was he yesterday? Well, as soon as R.K. showed up for him, he knew you'd stabbed him in the back. I can't really say how that made him feel. Until now, he'd been adamant about ensuring you stayed out of this. He said no one could blame you for what you did to Shinya Kawai. Kawana put his life on the line for you. You failed to silence him, and you let him get away. That means whatever happens next, it's his move. And whatever he does to you, none of my business. As for me, I have no evidence on Kawhi's murder, so you're off my list too. I only came here today because I wanted to know why you betrayed Kawana. That's all. I hope Mitsurakun has a speedy recovery. Alright, time to come up with our plan of attack. I'll go hash it out with everyone at Yokohama 99. Yeah, with this being the final chapter then, probably when we hit... Man, Yagami looks seriously beat up from all that. From the explosion. But yeah, probably as soon as we hit Yokohama 99 then, it'll probably start the last bit of the story. Which we'll go ahead and do that. Just because this game is fun, I'd love to do everything in it. But, I do want to actually have you guys see the end of this story. Uh, hope to, are you kidding me? Hopefully before, hopefully I can finish the recording, because right now when I'm doing this recording is November 27th, so hopefully I can uh, edit it and get it uploaded and shown to you guys before the end of November is my plan. But we shall see. Well, actually, before I go in there... Oh, that's right. Back already, Yagamishi. How are you feeling after last night? That shockwave from the blast took you down. Oh, yeah. That was something else, I gotta say. <laughs> I bet, tough guy. Kamurocho's finest detective never fails to impress. Doc, you made it. We've been asking around if anyone's seen Kuana. You don't want to know how that went. No leads, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Doesn't help that RK is crawling all over the place right now. Soon as they spot Kuana, they're gonna make their move. Kawana gave this to me yesterday. Isn't that Toshiro Ehara? Kawana-san called you out there just to give you this? Yep. He told me to give it to Ahara. What the... Oh, 
man, it looks like it's cracked. Can you take a look at it, Tsukumo? I get the feeling it's no ordinary pendant. Certainly. Not handing it over to Ahara till you know what the deal is? Well, he won't mind, will he? Besides, I damn near got blown up over that thing. Speaking of, Yagamishi, what's the status of Ahara's sexual battery trial? Saori-san's preparing for the appeal. Still no date, but the courts are working as fast as they can. If they accept the case and it goes to trial, they'll find out about Kawana one way or another. And that'd put Reiko Kusumoto in public security in the shithouse, right? Right. If Kawana and his murders come to light, anyone connected to Reiko Kusumoto could be suspected as an accomplice. And if that happens, she'd lose any control she had over the pension fund. Interesting. Everyone wants their own brand of justice to come out on top. But enough is enough. If we don't handle this, public security will take out Kawana. And I can't let him die like that. Then what's your next move? Gonna head to Ahara's trial and back up Sari-san. <laughs> Feels like we've come full circle. I'd argue the opposite, Yagamishi. The circumstances surrounding the trial are completely different this time around. I can't help but consider how grand a task simply seeking the truth could be. Seriously. But exposing the truth is the only way to save some and get justice for others. We can't just stay quiet and watch. <laughs> Sounds like you're seeing the light. Detective work's not so bad, is it? <laughs> Can you guys keep an eye out for Kawana and Ijincho? I need to go over a Horace case with Sari-san. 10-4. We'll amp up surveillance. We're going too, Sukiyura. Time to get shit done. <laughs> right on! Alright, time to prep for a Horace appeal in Kamurocho. I can't let Sari-san do this alone. Uh, what cases do we even have available, actually? Hmm... We get for cash and some SP, but... We're gonna go ahead and... Right now, just focus on... The main story. Unless... Unless there's a random one. Random side case in Ichincho. Minus the Paradise VR. Or the Extract. Nope. Okay. Alright, so off to Kamurocho we go. But it is kind of funny how they usually... How, at least in the last Judgment game, and uh, even this one, how the story does come full circle back to something that's either on the same individual, or... Highly related to the first case that's mentioned at the beginning of the game. It's pretty cool. I really like that aspect, actually. Some people might think, oh yeah, you're just circling to that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I think it's really cool that it actually tells a story, unveils more, and then kind of comes back to the beginning. And then things make uh, more sense, really. You got me when I was looking. And then Gal Katana is next. Alright, get over here, you. Really, guys? 1900 from the fight. That's pretty easy. And if I can, I'd like to upgrade the health a little bit, so if we do get in a few fights along the way, it's actually good. That way I can actually gain a little bit of experience. I mean, not experience, SP to be able to purchase those. Man, if I'm getting... What Over a, a thousand for each fight. That'll really help as well. Like how much we got so far? Forty-seven thousand. 
633. That's awesome. Yeah, let's definitely get these health upgrades on. EX. Ah. Yeah, I'd like to at least get that health boost then. The first EX one, since that's 20,000. But I'm not gonna hold my breath, because 20,000 would be kind of tough to get at this point. Because we might not even be able to afford that until we're basically at the last fight. We're pretty close to. Nice easy fight. Uh, you know what? Let's heal up a little bit. Now let's actually buy some health say. items. Oh, have I not ate at one of these places before? The Smile Burgers? Hmm, guess not. Uh, Smile Shake. Cool, refreshing treat, especially popular in the summer months. King Smile Burger, hamburger fit for a king made with double the meat. Starving. Yeah, pretty tasty. Thanks. That's only a thousand, so it's not bad. Oh, nice! I got another play pass. Cool. So next time I'm uh, going around and doing stuff in a gene show, I can actually do the next side case for the Paradise VR. Dang it. Time to grab a little bit now. What a waste. Ah, oh, did I get hurt at all? I might as well drink a divine water then. Kinda getting lucky with getting some fights though. No, I expected, but hey. No, okay. I still do like how uh, everyone you fight to in the Yakuza games, even the street punks, all of them have names. So it's not like Nameless Thug, it's this guy's name is uh, Oi or Hadachi or whatnot. It's cool, it's neat. It gives character even to those who might not actually be characters. Last we'll top up on those. And we're good on these here. And that should be good. Alright, we should be set on stuff then. Now let's go ahead and again the law. Well, looks like we've got a full house. Shirosaki sensei asked me to come by. She said they needed some business handled while you were out of town. I find it hard to believe she'd put it that way. <laughs> Maybe not. Either way, I don't mind helping. Yagami-san, you're just in time. I think we should conduct another interview with Ahara-san. Okay, but what will we talk about? If we want to claim he's innocent of battery, then we need to prove he's the one who murdered Mikoshiba at the same time. But since the murder footage isn't admissible in court, we need something more substantial. Right, the judge said we wouldn't allow internet videos of unknown origin in court. Basically, we need new evidence. And that might mean something no one's seen or found yet. So your plan is to meet with Ahara and just ask him? I know it's a long shot, but yes. I'd like to come help, but someone has to check Higashi-san's work. Excuse me? If I have to be Hoshino-kun's lackey, I'm fucking out. 
I'd prefer if you address me as Hoshino Sensei. Mouth on this kid. Ihara only seems to open up to you, Yagami kun. So if you talk to him again, do you think we'll find out something new this time? I'll see what I can get out of him. Having another chat with him couldn't hurt. Sounds good. Oh, and look after Saori for me, would you? Sure, but Mafuyu, should you even be here? Won't the prosecution think you're double-crossing them? What do you mean? I am just here to get dirt on the defense. Expect Prosecutor Takano to hear all about it. <laughs> Guess we better watch ourselves. I still have some preparations to make. Yagami-san, why don't you go kill some time? I'll call you as soon as I'm ready. It shouldn't take long. Sure thing. I'm going to try and get in touch with Ahara's wife. Even though they're separated, Ihara may have shared details about Mikashiba's murder with her. Oh, and Higashi-san will be there to help. Ah, that's a good idea. Ihara's status as either a sex offender or a murderer is the court's focus right now. Opinion split between who thinks the Mikashiba murder footage is authentic and who doesn't. Mm-hmm. And that information makes it very difficult. I'll call you once I'm ready. This may be our last meeting with Ahara-san before the appeal. Make it count, Yagami-san. RK's still raising hell around the city. Bunch of ex-Tojo guys have been especially loud and proud. Just watch your back out there. Not that I don't think you can handle it. That's nice to hear from Higashi. Don't forget how much pressure's on Saori right now. Ehara's trial has the police and prosecution on edge, so I'm sure it's a lot for Saori to handle by herself. But I'll do whatever I can on my end. It's awesome that Mafa, you actually can see the more morally right side, not just focus on only being a prosecutor. That's what I kind of like about her character, too. But it sucks how she's actually not really that involved in this one. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and get in some fights while we wait. Which, really, that's whatever. I mean, it's some more SP I can get. More chance, anyways. So we can easily kill time. Fight some goons on the street. Goons or thugs. Whatever you prefer to call them. Hmm, interesting. I didn't realize you couldn't, in the snake fighting style, waste. you can't just grab them and uh, beat them while you hold on to them. I think it's funny, actually, how the EX actually charges up quick enough in this game that I don't even worry about getting uh, some smokes for it, for charging it up before getting in the fights. Let me guess, she's ready? Sorry for keeping you, Yagami-san. We should head to the detention center. Where are you? In Kamurocho. How about I take a cab and pick you up? If you please. I'll be waiting. Okay, so we can just head right back then. That is one thing I think is goofy. You actually don't need to get that far away from any of the offices, and then it'll trigger, hey, we're ready. Detention center. Let's go talk with Ahara again. Let's see what happens. Isn't that just the worst? So the murder footage can't be used as evidence. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be played in court for all to see. Yeah, and if it was, it would prove your innocence and overturn your battery conviction no problem. But the prosecution flat out refuses to accept you murdered Mikoshiba. There's no room for error. You could flat out confess and they would refuse to accept it. Excellent. In the end, they'll lock me up for battery. And I'll get away with murder. Yeah, yeah. We know all about what you and Kwana planned. We just don't have the evidence to prove it. <laughs> My condolences. 
Which reminds me, you said you'd confess to killing Miko Shiba after you got out of prison, right? Then, as icing on the cake, you'd admit the battery charge was false and humiliate the law for letting a murderer walk free. Exactly. The public must know that the law can't be trusted. Personally, I hope the media hops all over it. I bet you do. So, when that time comes, you'll need some decisive evidence of the murder so your confession holds water. Maybe you've got something like that in your back pocket already? <laughs> Not a bad reaction from Ehara. Maybe there really is some hard evidence of Mikoshiba's murder. Because we'd sure look good if we had some new evidence to take into the appeal. That's why you geniuses came all the way out here. I told you I wouldn't admit to the murder in court. I have no intention of just handing it over. Handing it over? So you're saying there is still a piece of evidence we don't know about? <laughs> What is it, Ahara-san? Even if there was, you'll never get your hands on it. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. What kind of material evidence is there even... Sorry. What kind of material evidence, if there even is any, could Ahara be hiding? Wait a second, actually, is it the body that Kuwana has of, uh... K Kasai, I think was the guy's name? The one who bullied the, uh... Vice Minister's son? Hmm. Still has the weapon. Calling card. Kept part of the corpse? Maybe it's a piece of Mikoshiba's body. Would you hide something like that? Well, was he missing any body parts? No, nothing indicated as such. Maybe it wasn't a missing body part. Could be as simple as some hair. Even if it was, that would hardly constitute evidence of Mikoshiba's murder. Hair could have come from anywhere or anyone. That's the extent of what you could prove. I suppose that's true. Ah, crud. That was wrong. Mm, either he still has a murder weapon or left a calling card. Still has the weapon? The murder weapon. Kanagawa PD said the weapon used to kill Mikoshiba still hadn't been found. Yet it appears in the footage without a doubt as to what it is. A knife. If it wasn't found at the murder scene, it's highly likely the suspect or an accomplice took it with them. Any normal criminal would have just ditched it somewhere. Except you're anything but normal. You got revenge for your son, and you want to publicly humiliate the law for letting you pull it off. Your point? If you were clear to the battery charges and confessed to Mikoshiba's murder without evidence, no one would buy it. You'd need something convincing. Busting out the weapon no one's found yet would do the trick. That one piece of evidence would flip the whole case on its head. Well, <laughs> look at you go. Then tell me. Where do you surmise I've hidden this weapon? Well, right after killing Mikoshiba and Ijinsho, you would have had to book it to Ikebukuro Station. You had accomplices with you. And if that's the case, there would have been plenty of time to hide the weapon. Yeah, so... That's about as far as I've thought this out. If that's it, then I'm done here. Kawana's vanished, Ahara-san. Public security found out about him. Public security? Kawana wanted me to tell you he won't make it to the end of your revenge plan. So, I'm the last man standing, am I? Well, he's already helped me plenty. I never expected to see him again anyway. At this point, he won't be able to outrun them. If public security catches him, he'll get much worse than an unfair trial. Burying him will be the least they do. What do you mean? What's going on? You remember last time? If you don't recall, I said you'd grabbed a tiger by the tail. And your tiger is... public security? Right. And they're out there on the warpath. 
Everything has to be brought into the light. We need what you did to be exposed. Kawana can't be saved in any other way. I need your help, Aharsan. Then you lose. I'll never admit to killing Hiro Mikoshiba in court. The system can die. It threw Toshiro away, and I won't lift a finger to save it. Kawana-san knew how this could end. We have our convictions. When this started, we knew it could end up costing our lives. You knew going in, huh? And that's all? Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? Maybe it is. Yagami-san. Do you remember my original request to look into both the Hara incidents? I asked you to look into the train event, and then I asked you to look into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. And now, I'm afraid I have to make one more request of you. Do you still carry your defense attorney's lapel pin? Ehara-san's trial. I'd like you to take the floor with me to defend him. It's going to be eventful. I think we should go as a team. Sure about that? <laughs> you know, my legal counsel isn't cheap. I'll let Genda-sensei know about the invoice. You got it. Count me in. You never know when something like this will happen. Check it out. I always have it on me. I know that. Huh? You do? <laughs> Dang, Siakami's actually gonna go into the courtroom. Yet again. Crazy. Kaito-san and the others are looking for Kuwana and Ijinsho. Is there anything left to do before I go back? Here we go. Warning, things are going to get pretty intense from here on out, so if there's anything you still want to do in Kamurocho, now's the time. You may want to save the game, too. Note that you're in for the long haul, so you'll still be able to save along the way, but you may want to make separate saves instead of overriding anything prior to this point. Once you start the finale, there's no going back. Okay, with that in mind, then, we're going to go ahead towards a taxi. And we'll save it before getting into it, and we'll travel right to Ijincho. There's not really anything else to do, especially in Kamurocho. Ah, there's a taxi. Alright, so we'll do a quick save right here.